Transport and Aviation Minister the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin says as the country draws closer to general elections, she is admonishing Bahamians to remember the history this nation was formed on and to be sober-minded in its decision as candidates from various parties offer themselves for governance. We got to be able to read between the lines, to discern, to distinguish, to rise above and be able to have an understanding of what it is we want for our people. Yes. Because you know, the truth is, you know, last, last generation ago it was Preacher Hall, today it's us, tomorrow it can be someone else. And you know, let's just say, the West, West Grand Bahama has produced some of, not just the heroes of our country, some of the finest citizens this country has ever seen. Yes. So, West Grand Bahama is taking its rightful place. Working Minister, Minister Hannah Martin was speaking at the groundbreaking for an administration complex in Eight Mile Rock last week when she made those remarks. The project is another example of public-private sector partnership. Hannah Martin says it's a move well-deserved by the people of West Grand Bahama who have produced outstanding Bahamians. She commended the Prime Minister for his vision, noting that at the center of it has been the Bahamian people. But no matter what they say about us, this is the party. This is the party that has led the struggle and that has identified with the people of this community. And we're here today. We are rising in prominence. People of this community. Thank you, Grand Minister.